it's a comfort thing. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, is it rolling? We're rolling. <laughs> okay. All right. What is going on, YouTube? March 7th, 2022. It is a Monday, and today, let me not let this leak. Today is the beginning of prep. Caden and I are about to hit the first workout, so I'm hitting chest and back this evening. We didn't even plan this. I FaceTimed him on my way to the gym. I was like, hey, what you want? Just to talk to a motherfucker. And uh, here we are now, about to get this training session in. So it's 8 o'clock. I don't ever really lift this late. I will say that last prep, I got a lot of morning sessions in, primarily. Um, I'll probably get back to that, but for now, we're about to go hard on this. I'm just gonna kind of let Eli do this thing. I'm gonna lock in, like first first session of prep, like it's gotta be a monster one. So I'm gonna probably throw the headphones in, lift some heavy shit around. Y'all enjoy this video. Does anyone else have a thing where when you're lifting with somebody else, like you can't multitask by listening to music, lifting, and having a conversation? Like I find myself taking my earbuds out literally every 45 seconds and I cannot do it. It always ends up just giving me a headache. So like when I'm with somebody, like he has his headphones in. I cannot do that. <laughs> Before though. Look, look look that yeah. You just have to get one. Do I have 315 in the room? Yep. Do I have 315 in the bag? I think I do. I think I do. I think here, here's an important little bit of information for you. So basically exactly a year ago, maybe a week off, started prep at 190 pounds. A year later, I'm starting prep at 210 pounds and damn, that feels good. It's been like a life goal to be over, just to be 200 pounds, 10 pounds over now starting a prep, heaviest, strongest I've ever been. It's a good feeling going into a cutting phase. Let's go. 
six of them bitches, eat them. One, two. <clears throat> Easy. Come on. So Last right. rep. Come on. Push this motherfucker out. Three. Oh. God damn. <laughs> that, face, that face feels ugly. Um, a few weeks ago, bro, that's all I was hitting. Just six. Now I just did that for a top set after four sets. Come on, quit playing. So I just decided, by the way, I'm making shit up on this workout. I'm not gonna lie. I felt like getting uh, particularly jiggy with this person. So we're gonna do four sets of 12 on this. Oh shit, this belt, this belt will really take your breath away. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just ad living shit as we go. Uh, hit bench, now we hitting this. Just gonna go hard. I'm gonna have Eli record like the top set. So you guys about to get just a bunch of random footage. But, yeah. <laughs> what you want to go on this? I, mean, I guess that's how they're begging for it. I'll give you. Initial look at the physique at the start of prep. 16 weeks out. Let me get out of shorty. Not that Tell me if these count. Alright, this is what we're gonna end this session with. At least what we're gonna get on video. Eli's gonna cut out of here. I'll probably get a few more movements in, you know, like there's no deviating no slacking it's prep um but yeah so we're gonna end with single arm incline pull downs i guess that's what they're called i don't know i love these you, you get a lat pump like no other like these are so stupid but the key on these is obviously going heavy but like driving that elbow full range of motion so we're gonna start we'll start with the 80 joints that is way too light. We'll start with the 100 joint. Alright, alright, alright.
All right, guys, so that's kind of a wrap for what you guys are going to see. We just did like little picks and shit, but we got to be careful because some grumpy butt finna come around the corner <laughs> tell us to put our shirts back on. But I'm going to keep doing my thing, really. I got a few more movements to hit, 10 minutes of cardio to wrap up, pose a little bit, and I'm out you. It's already 9, so I'm let the cameraman go home and do whatever the cameraman does after 9. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's really it for this workout. Thank you for watching this first one. There are many, many more to come, specifically like 17. I'll see you on the next clip. in i probably should not put that in there all right so what y'all see me do this morning was a check-in and it's five almost six hours later but my first official check-in of prep so i weighed in at 207.2 this morning 207.6 one of the two and just sent my voice memo over to alex so basically what i do is i get my the changes adjustments to my plan on thursdays and then i execute for the whole week up into the next thursday and changes happen again sent over a voice memo um the progress picks any deviation i had from the plan is in the voice memo things like that but i'm just in the office right now so i'm actually not at work today i am still working just not at work so for the most part of the day i'll be in the office just getting client shit done editing youtube videos cleaning up around the crib and then the whole other job that I have in itself, eating. Uh, I'm about to hit the second meal of the day. It's kind of hard, like, let's keep that hidden. <laughs> this room's kind of a mess right now. Um, it's kind of hard, like, breaking my meals up. So I have six actual meals. And then I have, like, little things. I don't know if you would maybe consider them snacks. I have a protein shake, a protein bar, and uh bananas and strawberries so they're just i find ways to i usually get that shit knocked out early in the day because it seems like less food to like when i still have when it's 7 30 p.m and i got like two meals to knock out so two big ass meals it's like overwhelming thinking damn i have two big ass meals and then all these like little things like last night i went to bed uncomfortably full it's pretty much every night i'm going to bed uncomfortably full so it sounds crazy and i know i'll be thinking i'm crazy for saying this you know uh weeks down the line but i'm ready for less food i'm so ready for it but uh i guess i should remember to enjoy while i got it because i know it's gonna hurt when i don't but i think i'm gonna whip up meal number two it's been some hours since i've ate so I'm gonna do that, knock out some work, and I'll let y'all do y'all a thing. your gang all right so let me drive my car correctly so i'm back in the car recording again but let me throw some positivity your guys's way today to wrap up this 16 week out video so i am on my way to sky zone right now with mariah and leali and uh i probably won't be, do be doing any jumping who knows i might find myself in there but i just wanted to show share this little like 
golden moment with you guys. So today's been a day. It's Saturday. It's only noon, but I feel like I've stacked so many wins and had such a literally just a beautiful day so far. So the first little thing is I had three of my female clients hit a new low weigh-in. That is insane. Do you know how amazing that feels? We were able to implement a plan for them and keep them on track, keep them motivated and and determined to get that progress, to to make that happen for themselves. That that is like this is probably the most positive and like just amazing feeling I've had as a coach so far in the eight to nine months I've been doing this. Like I am like this makes me love what I do. It's, I'm so happy, um, and I'm and I am going crazy letting them know like I'm so proud of you and keep your foot on the gas. We got so much more to accomplish, but be proud of yourself so far. So um, definitely a huge client win. Um, makes me feel really good. I, I love it. I love it. I, I couldn't quit smiling when I sat down, saw the first check-ins. I had two and a half pounds down in a week. A pound and a half. A pound. Like, damn! Let's get it! Um, and then, let's see. So, yesterday, I hit the most intense training session of my entire 21 years of life. No cap, no exaggeration. It wasn't even weight training. We were... We, I went to some, I guess he was a D1 wrestling coach, uh, his facility. So my one of my clients, Alec, had me go there talking about, you want to get a cardio session. And we've been playing it for months. And oh my God, I did not know what I was in for. I keep telling everybody, I stopped counting the amount of times I threw up after like five. I was, <sighs> that shit was horrible. So that's what happened yesterday. I guess another, I, I'm forgetting shit already. I just signed up another client stepping on stage in June. Stepping on stage in June. Let's get it. Doing this coaching shit for real. And I couldn't be more proud of the people that I'm helping and more proud of myself, man. Like, it is so, it's like, it's almost kind of indescribable, but it is so beautiful to know what you want to do. Finally, I figured that out for myself. Start taking the steps to do it. Start building momentum and then actually see you yourself reap some rewards of your efforts. But guys, like it's just like this is a beautiful way to start off prep and it's gonna be a good, nice and long four months, but hey, it's off to a good start.